From the moment I step in front of the mirror each morning, I embark on a meticulous transformation. It's not just about the clothes or the makeup, it's an art form, a deeply personal expression of my duality. I am what many would call an advanced crossdresser, but to me, it's more profound, it's my way of bridging the gap between the man I am and the woman I become. My journey began in adolescence, a period of confusion and curiosity. It was then I first draped a dress around my frame, feeling a rush of excitement and fear. Over the years, what started as a clandestine experiment evolved into a masterful craft. I learned the nuances of femininity, not just to mimic but to embody it. My goal was never to deceive but to discover and express a part of myself that felt most authentic. The process is both physical and psychological. Dressing up is not simply about putting on a dress or a wig, it's about adopting a whole new persona. The way I move, speak, and interact changes. I study women, not in a voyeuristic manner, but with an artist's eye, observing the subtleties of their behavior, their strength, and their grace. Each outing is a performance, one where the stage is the world and the audience, the unsuspecting passers-by. Makeup is my war paint. It takes patience and practice to master the art of contouring, highlighting, and blending to create the illusion of softer, more feminine features. A beard shadow can be the toughest adversary, but with the right techniques and products, even that can be concealed. The transformation is not just skin deep, it's a metamorphosis that allows me to explore the depths of my identity. Choosing the right attire is crucial. It's not about donning the most extravagant dress but finding the right outfit that complements my male frame, accentuating curves that aren't naturally there. It's a delicate balance between fashion and illusion, each piece selected with the intent of harmonizing my masculine and feminine sides. But beyond the physical transformation, there's an emotional journey. Each time I step out the door, I face the world's judgments and fears. Yet, with each step, I find a deeper sense of confidence and freedom. The fear of being, found out, transforms into an exhilarating thrill, a test of my skill in navigating the social fabric as a woman. In my years of experience, I've learned that the essence of passing is not about perfection but authenticity. It's about the confidence with which you carry yourself, the authenticity of your interactions. People sense authenticity, and when they do, the superficial details fade into the background. This journey has taught me invaluable lessons about empathy, identity, and the fluidity of gender. It's shown me the courage it takes to be oneself in a world that often demands conformity. I've connected with others like me, forming bonds of understanding and support that transcend the superficial aspects of our transformations. Navigating the world as an advanced crossdresser, one quickly learns it's strewn with both traps and transcendent moments, each encounter a lesson, every outing a narrative of triumph and challenge. One of the most pervasive traps is societal prejudice. The world can be unkind to those who dare to defy traditional gender norms. Harsh judgments and unwarranted hostility can turn a simple walk through the city into a gauntlet. There have been moments when derogatory remarks pierced the bubble of confidence I had carefully built around myself, reminding me that acceptance is still a distant dream for many. Privacy invasion poses another significant risk. In the age of digital omnipresence, a single photo taken without consent and spread across the internet can have lasting repercussions on one's personal and professional life. It's a violation of privacy that many of us fear, a reminder of the delicate balance we maintain between our dual identities. Misunderstandings about the nature of cross-dressing can also lead to uncomfortable situations. The uninitiated often conflate cross-dressing with other aspects of gender and sexual identity, leading to awkward assumptions and questions. It's a reminder of the ignorance that still pervades society's understanding of gender fluidity. Yet, amidst these challenges, there are moments of sheer beauty and profound connection that make the journey worthwhile. One of the most beautiful aspects of my experience has been the solidarity and camaraderie found within the cross-dressing community. Sharing stories, tips, and support with others who understand the nuances of this life is incredibly affirming. Experiencing the world from a different gender perspective is another unique privilege. It has allowed me to understand the complexities of the female experience firsthand, fostering a deep respect and empathy for women. This dual perspective is a rare gift, offering insights that few have the opportunity to gain. 
Perhaps the most beautiful moments come from within, in the quiet acceptance of oneself. Each time I dress, there's a moment of transformation not just in appearance, but in spirit. It's when the outer shell aligns with the inner self, creating a harmony that resonates with authenticity and peace. These moments are reminders of the courage it takes to be true to oneself in a world that often demands conformity. Navigating the world of cross-dressing is an ongoing journey of self-discovery, fraught with risks but also filled with moments of joy and liberation. It's a path that teaches resilience, demands courage, and rewards with moments of pure authenticity. As society's understanding of gender continues to evolve, I remain hopeful for a future where the traps and pitfalls become less daunting, and the beautiful moments more commonplace. Until then, I walk this path with pride, embracing both the challenges and triumphs that come with living authentically at the intersection of masculinity and femininity. In this intricate dance of life, where each of us is finding our rhythm and place, the journey of self-exploration, especially for those of us who venture beyond the conventional boundaries of gender, is a profound testament to the human spirit's resilience and diversity. My story, filled with its trials and triumphs, is but one melody in the vast symphony of human experiences. It serves as a reminder that at the heart of our journeys lies the universal quest for happiness and authenticity. To everyone navigating their path, whether it's in the realm of gender expression or any other aspect of personal identity, remember that your happiness and sense of self are paramount. The courage it takes to explore and express your true self in a world that often values conformity over individuality is immense, but it's also incredibly rewarding. Finding your own way doesn't mean you have to walk alone. There are communities and allies out there who will embrace and support you. Seeking them out can provide strength and comfort as you navigate your path. However, it's also important to cultivate an inner sanctuary, a place of self-acceptance and peace where the opinions and judgments of the world cannot reach. Allow your experiences, both the challenging and the beautiful, to be your teachers. Each one has something valuable to offer, helping to sculpt your character and understanding. Embrace the journey with an open heart and mind, knowing that with each step, you're not only discovering more about yourself but also contributing to a broader dialogue about diversity and acceptance. Happiness, in its truest sense, comes from living authentically, from having the freedom to express who you are without fear or apology. It's a state of being that transcends external validation, rooted in self-acceptance and love. This doesn't mean the journey will be free from obstacles, but rather that the struggle to overcome them can lead to a deeper, more enduring form of happiness. Encouraging each other to find our own way, to live authentically, is perhaps the most profound act of kindness we can offer. It's a declaration that we see and honor each other's individuality, and it's a step toward creating a world where everyone has the freedom to express their true selves. As you continue on your path, remember that the pursuit of happiness is not just about the destination but also about the journey itself. It's about the moments of self-discovery, the challenges that test your strength, and the victories that celebrate your resilience. You are crafting a life that is uniquely yours, a masterpiece of experiences that reflects the depth and richness of your being. In this vast tapestry of human existence, let us weave threads of understanding, compassion, and celebration of diversity. By doing so, we not only enrich our own lives but also contribute to a more inclusive, empathetic world. Remember, in the grand scheme of things, happiness is not just a personal achievement, it's a collective aspiration, one that we can all support each other in reaching.